Hotep Capricorn, welcome to your Twin Flame bonus reading for the month of November 2020. You know me as a cosmic divine tarot and uh, Cappy. This here is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as Lilith signs. Now, if this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, Cappy. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't even worry about that because I'm just going to go ahead and get you on the flip side, Cappy. I'm going to read you next time I get your reading for you, all right? Now, Capricorn, as you know, I'm utilizing the Barbary Zodiac Oracle, all right? And these cards came flying out after I was shuffled about a hundred times. All right. First off, sad. I mean, first of all, you're dealing with the uh, Saturn, which is you, Capricorn, as well as Aquarius. Okay. The next card is Neptune, which means you're dealing with a Pisces. Okay. Now, Cappy, here's Uranus. This is a double confirmation of an Aquarius, who you're dealing with. Okay. Now, we know that the Saturn is about karma and things coming back around Capricorn, okay? So, the person who you're dealing with, your twin flame, it's time for this person to come on back around, okay? And when they come back around at you with the Neptune, it's somebody who is going to be more spiritual, somebody who is going to be, you know, more awakened to the other side of existence all right because the person who you was dealing with maybe they were too uh earthbound maybe they were too uh like into this material plane too daggone much now with the aquarius right here this person has progressed into something else they progressed into being another type of way in life okay so they're gonna also appear to be a bit weird and um aloof but that Aquarius is very sensual okay that Capricorn is very uh cardinal right so you're gonna be dealing with somebody who's gonna be very sensual and very sexy that is who your twin flame is but more on the spiritual side now too here we got the uh love oracle cards capping I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle while I call upon my higher self Call upon my ancestors and Panathotu, who are the guardians as well as the universe, to get an accurate message for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as Lilith. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's cut the deck first and then we can go ahead and do this for Capi. What messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith? Boom. Love. Love, Cappy. Okay? So somebody loves you. Okay? Maybe they had to tune in to the spiritual aspect to know that they really loved you. Maybe they had to stop being so materialistic to know that they love you because love is energy. Love is a spiritual, mystical thing. We got altered view here. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Yeah, they got an altered view, baby. Oh, snap, check this out. Here we go, here we go. Engagement ring. All right, engagement ring and destructive habits under love. We had to put destructive habits under love. Here we go. Back together. Coming back around, Cappy. Coming on back around. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. What other messages do we have for Capricorn, family? Alright. It's okay, Cappy. We just missed the card. We're going to go back and get this. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. There it go. There was that card right there. Heart with a key. Heart with a key. So this person is trying to come back totally different. 
Okay, here we go. Boom. Chaser. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to have that under destructive habits. Absolutely. All right, so there was a lot you wanted to say about that Capricorn. Because uh, almost the whole deck came flying out my hand, okay? <laughs> Let's do this again. What are the messages we have for Capricorn? Talking. Okay? What are the messages we have for Capricorn? There's a lot they want to talk about. Let's go ahead and hit Intimacy. Emotional intimacy. All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> now let's see what we got for you, baby. All right, so Capricorn, yeah. This person who had all this daggone destructive habits, who wanted you to go ahead and keep chasing up after them because they were codependent and fear. The uh, abandonment fought by you. So, therefore, they thought if they had you chase after them, then this would be uh, some type of security blanket for you to not leave them, okay? Because this person loved you unconditional. When we look at unconditional love here, we see self-love, oneness, passion, uh, affection, attraction. Yeah, this person was highly attracted to you. They uh adore the fact that you were so affectionate so passionate and they wanted oneness with you they knew that you gave them unconditional love right they knew that you were the one and the only one in their life that was ever going to give them the type of love that they ever dreamed of okay they dreamt of you copy before you even stepped on the scene but this person had destructive habits they had addictions to having sex with you too much. They had addictions to uh, their thinking that was toxic and their behavior that made them run, okay? They may have also been drinking too much. They had addictions to gambling and alcohol, you know, too much sex that was negatively impacting their relationship because they loved you too much. And then after they would go ahead and wear you out sexually, I mean, just go ahead and and have all kinds of sex with you, uh, Cappy, then they wanted you to start chasing after them. After they opened you up and got you addicted to having sex with them, got you addicted to their uh, uh, affection for you, their passion for you, then they want to run and make you like chase after them like a, a drug addict chases after uh, the crack man, you know. So here we go. We got the altered view. This person is starting to see things differently because they're being more spiritual now. They're not all about the sex anymore. Of course, sex will be a big part of your relationship still if you get back together with this person. But the altered view says seeing things differently than they are, past conditioning influencing the situation. So they're reevaluating their own behavior. They're reevaluating how they made you feel like they only wanted you for the sex when they know damn well they wanted all of you. They wanted every bit of you. So now when they talk to you about getting back together, okay, because we got uh, talking, interested, conver conversing more, awaited message arrives text call email they're going to be texting you they're going to be calling you talking about getting back together with you so it's going to be a call or a message or a text message an email okay now when it says hovering it could be somebody that come up and just knock right on your door and then when you let them in they hover all over you like they don't want you to go anywhere like they keep you locked up in the bedroom or locked up in the house like they don't want you to go anywhere. So Capricorn is a little advice, baby. They knock on the door. Don't let them in. Go outside and talk to them. Because once they get inside your house, it's on. Now it says reunited. Good chance of getting back together or back together. Things moving well. That will be it for a time. Or it may just be it, period. Because this person is more spiritual right now. They got an engagement ring, Cappy. They got an engagement ring in their pocket. 
that they're trying to give you. <laughs> Capricorn. Okay, Cap A. All right. Because here we got the heart with the key. This person is welcoming love now. Before they was like, no, I'm not trying to welcome your love. Or at least made you feel like that. Made you feel that they didn't want your love, man. But now their heart is open. Now their heart is open because they know that you're the one. They want emotional intimacy with you, Gabby. Yeah, they want to hold you now because they know that this heart here is you. They know they want to hold you. They want you to hold them. Love is energy. Love is energy. That's right. It is. And they're going to be talking to you. And while they're talking to you, Capricorn, you're going to have to make sure that this person is really spiritual right now. That you are really feeling the love come from them. And they're not just yapping their mouth. And they're not just talking about love and everything. But they actually are making you feel the love, the energy of the love. All right? Because that right there, energy doesn't lie. So regardless of what the heck they say, their energy is going to introduce them before they even say anything to you. So when that's the case, their energy is going to be speaking for them. Their words are going to be meaningless. <laughs> okay? It's going to be the energy that you're going to have to feel, Cappy. You know what I mean? If this person really wants some emotional intimacy, if they really have changed and they're coming back into your life, Maybe now chasing after you. They want to chase after you because they fear that you may not come back to them. Or even if you do come back to them, they're going to be chasing after you in their relationship because they're going to be fearing that you're going to abandon them and, you know, do the same damn thing that they did to you, Capricorn. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get some more <laughs> information. You know, I got the Menara cards. Okay. I already told y'all about the Menara cards now. About these bad boys being uh, what they are. They profound. They profound. <laughs> All right, Cappy. I'm going to get a little bit more information. Let's see how you're going to feel about it. Let's see how you're going to feel about this person coming back around. Because karma, because of uh, Saturn demands that uh they bring their behind back around and be on another whole note be on another whole vibration maybe saturn wouldn't have brought them back around unless they were on this vibration because saturn is your ruling planet so saturn wouldn't want to bring somebody back around on you who was still on that same bs last shuffle just wanting to just wanted to hit the booty and that's it. <clears throat> Just wanting to, you know, get their booty hit and that's it. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, Cappy. Here we go. Haunted. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be chasing you with the four of swords. I mean the four of uh, water. They're going to be chasing you. Because the four of water, you're going to be like, mm -hmm, with your hand on your hip. Like, I don't know if I want this. When they come back and arrive on the scene and call you, you're going to have your back to them like, I don't even know if I want this. I don't even know if I want your love. I don't, you might as well just go ahead and keep all that. You know, I don't, I don't even know if I believe you. The only reason why you're turning your head towards them just a little bit while, they, while you got your back to them is because you're feeling some energy. Here we go. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, Cappy. The tower. The tower. This is the first time I got the tower in this deck. Yeah, so the tower is here. We know the tower is, is you guys falling out. Is you guys not wanting to deal with this person. Alright. This card also tried to come out. Let me see what this card was talking about. Here we go. We got the uh the tower. We got the uh chariot. Okay, okay. So the chariot confirming the tower is saying that this person 
when they hunt you, they're going to knock down anything in their way, Capricorn. Anybody in their way. They're coming after you because they want you in that way. Yeah, they want you in that sexual way too. You see, she got the the hat in between her her legs and she looked like she is riding that hat, which means that they're going to be riding something. They're going to be riding anything or whatever. <laughs> They're going to be riding their way to victory. And when the tower steps on the scene, uh, they don't stop. They don't stop, Capricorn. So you're hunted right here in the woods. You want to run in the woods away from this person. Like, I don't want to deal with you. You got your feet in the water, but they still found you. They still found you. So if they had the dogs after you or the hounds smelling your scent and chasing after you, they lost the scent. But the daggone person still came after you, even with the hounds losing the scent. <laughs> and we know the hound represents that that uh, aspect of them that is real horny, that is real hot, and uh, wants you back in their life. Ooh, Capricorn. Here we go. Got the uh, knave of earth. Yeah, that's the message. That's the message right there. Somebody writing you a message, being real suave with it too. They're being real suave with their message. Look like this person trying to be sneaky with what the heck they're saying to you. The type of words that they're using to you when they when when uh, uh when they catch up with you. Could be that they have been hunting you for some time now, but you didn't even know that, Happy. Here we go. Hmm. Here's the moon. Okay. Yeah, these are the first times I'm seeing these cards, Capricorn. The moon and the empress. Any other card come out? No. Okay. The moon. So, they're keeping it a secret, right? They're keeping it a secret in the moon energy that this person still has this sexual desire for you. Still has this whole thing where they are going to bow down whenever you open your legs to them like they put the sword down because they will not fight it if you allow them back into the bed with you all right that's some type of secret that they that they are not talking to you about they're talking to you about emotional intimacy they're talking to you about engagement uh having an altered view acknowledging their destructive behavior okay uh, that's all they're talking to you about and they're keeping it a secret that they still have these desires that they haven't changed their sexual desires haven't changed or probably have enhanced since y'all been away because they've been dreaming of being with you the whole time that y'all have been separated so their uh sexual desire for you has enhanced to the point where this person bow all the way down to the empress to the emperor okay mm. Come on. Dealing with a, a Cancer Pisces. You're dealing with, a, well, the Emperor the Empress is all the signs in one. Ooh. <laughs> What's the last card? I'm going to pull for you, Gabby. Damn, look at this. The Ten of Fire. Oh, it's too much of a daggone burden for them not to be with you, uh, uh, Capricorn. You see this person grabbing up this other person right here, right? Like she's trying to have some type of defenses up. Like she doesn't want to be with this other person. They don't want to be with the other person. But this other person is forcing themselves on them. Ooh. But you're fighting it. You're fighting it, Capricorn. You're fighting it. Hmm. They ain't going to let you fight, baby. They ain't going to let you fight. So, so what I got to say to that is, you know, this don't look good right here, Cappy. This don't look good. Somebody um is going to try to force themselves on you. And that right there will be the secret. That right there will be the secret that they uh are not telling you while they're talking to you. They're imagining you with your clothes off here. Okay? See, you're dressed... And you're looking very beautiful, my, by the way, Capricorn. You're looking very beautiful when you meet this person, okay? But you're dressed here. 
They want you to undress. They have been dreaming of you undressed. They want you in the bedroom. They want you. They don't care if you're in the bedroom or not. This look like. Dang, this look like they're in, in your bedroom. These are mirrors right here or some type of. No, this is some type of steps on the outside of an apartment. Or elevator. Going down steps. You know one of them old elevators that you can see out of and you see the steps going down right here? That's what it looked like. Yeah, you're in the elevator. So, you may be in an elevator leaving your house one day and this person come at you wanting to talk to you, but you don't want to talk to them. And they want you to just listen to them, but you're trying to fight them. And that may be how the hunt begins, okay? How the hunt begins. You're like going to run from this person. You're going to be able to escape this person, okay? And going to run, but they're going to hunt you down. They're going to find you here, okay? They're going to find you whatever it is that they have to do. Going to find you, Cappy. Okay? Here we go. We got the Dark Mirror Oracle cards. It seems like the story is just thickening, <laughs> Capricorn, from the readings that I've been giving you in the past. It seems like the story is just taking on its whole new uh, different layers and levels, you know, <laughs> given the background and just continuing on. <laughs> Capricorn, this X right here will do whatever it takes to get you back. They will hunt you down. You're going to try to fight them, but their desire for you is too strong. Their desire for you is too strong to have you back in the house with them. All right. Capricorn, be careful, baby. Let me get you one more shuffle. Be careful with this person. And because at the at the bottom of the deck I see Queen of My World. So this is a very beautiful woman right here. Alright? You're a very handsome person. You're a very uh beautiful person. Okay? So this person, they don't want to see you with anybody else. And they are going to trample over anybody else. So if you have somebody new in your life, Capricorn, don't tell this person. But shoot, they maybe already know. Maybe watching you I already know. I don't see stalking out here. Obsession. Here we go. Obsession. Obsessed, Capricorn. They're obsessed with you. Your ex is obsessed with you. Their sexual desire is too much for them to bear. All right, here we go. Bride in the cage. Sagittarius just had this. Bride in a cage. Alright, so this is saying they're obsessed with trapping and encaging you as their bride. We got engagement ring right here. Sagittarius had wedding ring. We know that, uh, no, you don't have Sagittarius here. But, um, yeah, this person is obsessed with you. They're obsessed with capturing you. They're obsessed with caging you. They're obsessed with uh, locking you away somewhere where you can constantly be at their beck and call. And they can constantly have you as their own uh, like reward. Because here's a chariot here. The chariot here is somebody who will be successful, will trample over anything to get the prize. You are the prize, Capricorn. And they want you, and they will do whatever it takes to get you. So be careful, baby. Capricorn, if this reading resonates with you, go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when it will be uploading more of your messages. If it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it. Like I said, I'm just going to get you on the flip side and probably go more into detail about this story we got going on here, okay? <laughs> Cap A. Peace, love, and light. Hot out, man.